What's up and welcome to today's video. As always, I wanna start with an encouragement and that being each of us have a dream, something that we're working for. Many of us have multiple dreams. And I just wanna encourage you that there are gonna be moments where you really just don't wanna persist with the thing that you are excited to do, this dream that you've taken on. Typically for most of us, these dreams are pretty stretching. They're difficult, they're challenging, they're beyond our, our easy capabilities. It's not things you just do in your sleep. It's things you really gotta try for. So I wanna just encourage you that there will be times whenever you really just do not wanna keep going whether it's playing an instrument, having a YouTube channel, any kind of thing, there's gonna be moments, the make or break kind of moments where it's like, okay, I'm either gonna just quit and give up or I'm gonna press on. And I just wanna encourage you, whatever moments in your life you're getting to, to where you feel like, man, I just don't feel like I wanna keep doing this anymore. Remember that you started out for a reason. Don't give up, keep going, and I promise you'll get over the hump soon enough and see that it was worth it. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into the video. I'm gonna be showing you how to remove a person from a background in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I have taken this image that I found on Unsplash. It's a great website for free images. I suggest you check it out. And we are gonna take this girl off of the background. So with different photos, some are gonna be really easy. If you have someone just on a white background, typically that's pretty simple. Uh, some are very complex, almost impossible. I'd say this one's kind of middle of the line, maybe a five or six out of 10, and I'm gonna show you how we can take her off the background. So first thing we're gonna do is this layer over here. I'm gonna right click and click duplicate the layer. Click okay, because I always wanna keep the original down here in case we ever need to get back to it for any reason. All right, now from here, I'm gonna click W, which is my wand tool. And now up at the top, I'll click Select Subject. This is an awesome tool that Photoshop has that automatically selects the subject as best as it can. It's not perfect, it needs a little help. So we'll click Select and Mask. And here it's gonna show us our subject cut out from the background. You can change your view option here. I'm using On Black, and then I've turned up my opacity all the way so that I can see exactly what it'll look like when it's put on a color, which is what I'll be using in a moment. All right, so there's a few tools that we're gonna use. Uh, the first one is over here, it's this Refine uh, tool. I think it's called the Refine Brush or Refine Edge, there we go. And so what you can do with this one, you wanna make sure that you're clicked on the Add Mode. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it over these parts of her hair where I can see that background. And there we go, see it kind of starts to refine the edge, get it? Um, and remove all these little pieces and kind of isolate her hair. Hair is typically the trickiest part. And so we're gonna remove all these background pieces. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kind of clean it up a little bit. Cause there's some flyaways and pieces that we'll kind of polish down a little more. All right, so for the most part, I've refined this edge as good as I need for it to be. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to our brush tool, and this is a really helpful tool. Uh, see, Photoshop's got a little confused over here, and so it lets me add and remove parts of the selection. So if I click the minus button up here and go to my remove mode, now what I can do is I can just bring it along here and remove that little white section, kind of coming along the edge of the hair. And there's a few other spots too where I see this, kind of up at the top this little piece here. We're just kind of smoothing things out. And then also you'll see there's some very fine little wispy pieces on the edge. I'm also gonna adjust those. If you wanna change the size or hardness of your brush, you can do that up here. The settings might help you get the desired effect you're looking for. But I'll just go ahead and refine up the edges of her hair. All right, so we've got this looking pretty good. I've kind of cleaned up around her hair. And then the one last thing we're gonna do, or I guess second to last thing, is we're gonna see around her jacket. Because she has this striped jacket, we can see that Photoshop's getting a little bit confused on what part should be included and excluded. So I'm gonna do that same thing using the brush. This time I'm gonna use the add option, and this will let me add parts to my selection. See how it was kind of blacked or grayed out there. And this will let me add, and I'm just kind of going along the line of where I know her jacket is. Uh, if you want to see it exactly, you can change your opacity here and that'll give you a better idea. But for me, it honestly doesn't matter that much because I know that it'll look right even if it's not 100% right. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth and add in these pieces and remove any pieces that need to be removed until it looks just right. Okay, so two simple tips. One of them is that if you're using the add mode, uh, you can hold alt or option and that'll switch you automatically to the 
uh, negative mode or vice versa. So if I want to remove something, I can hold alt and then drag and it'll remove. And then if I let go of alt, it'll go back to the normal adding process. And then what's also really helpful, what I just did here is that if I click one spot and I know I'm going kind of along a straight line, if I hold shift and then click the next spot, it'll create a basically a line between the two spots that I just did. And so that can kind of help you speed up your process a little bit. So you click once, hold shift and doing this in small increments will give you kind of a more realistic curve. All right, and so I think we're basically done. The last thing we're going to do is adjust our settings over here. There is this tool called Global Refinements and Shift Edge is really important. So what I'm gonna do is basically this, this kind of crunches in the selection a little bit. So if I shift this in just a little, it's pretty subtle, but it kind of starts to pull into the hair a little bit and is gonna remove any of those extra background pieces that we missed. You can also play with the settings here, like your feather, your smooth, contrast. Feel free to mess with, mess with it until it looks just right. Uh, but once you're done, you can click OK. So now you can see we have our little marching ants, means that Photoshop hasn't done anything, it's just selected this area. So what I can do is when I'm clicking on this layer, I'll click my mask option down here. Doesn't look any different, but that's because the background image is behind it. If I were to turn that off, you can see that she has been expertly cut out of the background and looks great. And now if I want to use her in a design, I can duplicate and bring her over to my other composition that I have. Get her sized in. And there we go. Now we've got a great ad that we could use for whatever college is needing to recruit people for the new semester. So that is how you take uh, an image of someone and you move them from the background. I'll also do videos showing the easier and the more difficult ones. It does get really complicated. So part of the battle is choosing the right image. And if you're the photographer or you're communicating with the photographer, then there's even more work you can do to make sure that you get the best image that you can to work with. But if you're working like I am and just finding something offline, that's the way to remove an image from the background.